And today, Greg, we're talking about modern dilemmas here, Greg. Mm. And uh, here's a very interesting one. So this is a combination. We've got five of your watches. You've got your your Submariner No Date, the Amiga Speedmaster, sorry, Amiga Seamaster Quartz, Rolex Explorer 2, Polar, Rolex Datejust, and we've got the Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. So, yes. so let's just check the numbers there. What are we looking at? Five, six and a half for those two, six and a half plus four, uh, make that ten and a half plus three and a half. What's that? Ten, ten and a half plus three and a half, fourteen. Plus another two and a half, fourteen, sixteen, sixteen and a half. Okay, so sixteen to seventeen thousand dollars of your five pieces, and I just turned down an offer for seventeen thousand for my annual uh, for my Calatrava. So the question today, fuckers, is: Do you have five nice pieces or one? One super, super fuck off watch. And Greg, would you do a swap if I offered to swap the the five for for the five watches plus chip in another thousand or two thousand bucks for the Calatrava? Would you do that or not? It's not on the table. I'm just talking yes, hypothetically. Would you? Hypothetically, I probably. <laughs> put a term deposit and save up for another one and add it on and have you wouldn't be selling your watches is that no. what you're saying you wouldn't do it no i would i would aspire to own one in the future like that so you wouldn't do a swap but if someone said okay all or nothing you know mm -hmm. i mean wouldn't you just say okay probably not i mean great I would, I would because i would have i would be so afraid to wear such a delicate timepiece on a daily basis and I love wearing a watch. Okay, but Greg, it's it's you, you saw you're a great fan. Greg's a huge fan. I'm gonna put a link in the description to the video Time Machines. Mm hmm That's that UK video with Tom Bolt in it, and uh, Tom says stick to Rolex, Patek and Rolex, you'll never lose money. And and the Well there are three Rolexes there. The main character wants one watch, he wants to get rid of his collection to have one watch, the exit watch, Greg. This is the, the one piece that says, fuck it, I don't need any more watches, I'm happy, that's it. So that's, that, that's the question, Greg. Could you, I mean, what is better way to go? Do you have five beautiful pieces or one super fuck off piece? Do you see the dilemma? Yes, it's a big dilemma. And that's all I could that's all I could summarize it as. It's a big dilemma <clears throat> because every, there are pros and cons to both. There are pros and cons to both, and I think uh, it takes careful consideration. I mean, I I wouldn't I can tell you that I just wouldn't want to find myself in that situation where I would have all or nothing. But Greg, that's a, that's a big dilemma you have. I mean, how many can you wear at once? That's true. That's very true. As a professional penist, how many can you wear at one time? Oh, you can only wear one at one time. It's not about wearing them. It's about owning them. It's about loving them. But I mean, I mean, it's like you know, it's like having a collection of you know BMWs, and someone mm. says. Hey, I'll swap you my Bentley or my Rolls Royce for, for your, your five BMWs. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Your five worn-out BMWs. <laughs> what do you think, Greg? Uh, at the moment, I'd have to give it some thought, but at the you moment... You can see I'm, the dilemma, can't you? Yes, I can see the dilemma. I mean, a Patek is a, such a... I mean, they're such a special watch. A Patek itself is something that... They don't churn those fuckers out. It's not like potatoes. No. It's no. not like fucking potato. Rolex, they make a million fuckers a year. Omega, would, they'd probably be doing the same, if not more, wouldn't they? Mm. You, you know what I mean? I mean... I'm glad we're not having this 
situation in reality because I would be in an extremely all I could say this would be a terrible dilemma and I and I would say but that's what life it's good to push those dile those yeah. dilemmas Greg I can say it, it's possibly I'd consider it possibly as I think about it because it's such a cool watch to have but but that that, that yeah there we go that's an open <coughs> question do you swap five beautiful five very usable nice pieces for one holy grail piece that is that's the question and in my question would you in my point of view would I swap one fuck off piece for five beautiful usable pieces I mean it's a two-way street I, I get a lot of I'd get a lot of enjoyment out of all of those wouldn't I yes you know what I mean they're just beautiful pieces yes that's right it's a hard one Greg what do you it's, think it's a very hard one you can see the dilemma, can't you? I can see the dilemma. I can. It's a hard one, isn't it? It is a very hard one. I, I mean, I, I don't know, I don't know Greg. I, look, look, it, it, it's... Um... See, that's what I did. To tell you the truth, Greg, I actually, before I got the Calatrava, I had a two-tone Rolex with diamond, factory diamond dial. So that's very similar to your one here. I had a Breitling Navi timer, so you could say, and I had an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon. Those three, I had three nice pieces, and I actually sold them off to put the money in for the Calatrava. And I still had to put another fucking a fortune in as well. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I understand perfectly so, well. So, Greg, I, 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 that's how I got the Calatrava. Yeah, you see the... what the problem is? Now you crave these lesser usable pieces at the same time. Of course I do. I can't fucking wear anything anywhere, you know? That's the I, mean, I mean, have to have a balance. Well, I, th Greg... I think ultimately, if somebody is a hardcore watch collector, they have to try to aspire to have a bit of both. Well, maybe they could one have... Per tech, uh, they had, they had one per tech and three, four usable watches. Greg, you could have one Calatrava and a fucking and a Datejust. That could be two. Two watches would be perfect. Yes. What do you think? Yes, it could be. It could. You could have one Calatrava and a Datejust. One Calatrava and a, and, and a sub and, and a Submariner. Preferably one waterproof watch. It's so much fun knowing that there's you know rain falls down, you accidentally fall in the pool. Whatever can happen. It's good to know that you've got a waterproof watch. It's so practical. I love that picture. So, Greg, if the table was, was if it was offered, would would you consider it or not? I'd, no. certainly, I'd certainly have a deep thought, but at the moment, I'd probably lean more towards no. I think. Yeah, I'm the same way too. I don't know if I would actually. I, I Especially for that, you've gone through that similar path. You did actually kind of swap I lesser did. pieces. Yes, yes, yes. And if I do it, I'd be back to the old drawing board. I, I would be enjoying my Calatrava. I wouldn't wear a watch for most of the time, or I'd put my old Seiko on just to wear as a beta or, or a Longines. Mm. And I would start saying, okay, next next time I got, I'm got, i broke now, and i got to try and buy another Rolex or a big chest or something like that. That's what I would be doing. Same so, path. Same path. It, 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 it is a dilemma. You can understand it, can't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. I mean, they could write an opera on it, couldn't they? Yeah. You know? <laughs> what do you think? You can. You know? You can. Okay, Greg, that's today's Modern Dilemma. Fuckers out there, tell me what you would do, fuckers.